It has taken many steps and many man hours to get here. Now we're ready to roll. You know, back in the day when uh, DJs like Africa Bombada used to play at shows, they would always mark out their records just so people peep it wouldn't know what they were playing. The more you get into music and listen to music culture, you'll realize that there are many other more fascinating new directions of music. The finest pure vinyl obtainable. The finest in sound and performance. What makes me want to choose and select and pick up a vinyl would probably be certain knowledge that I already got from immersing myself into music. If I already knew of a certain sound that I like, let's say a band from the 1960s, I would probably delve more into that and use that as a reference. First thing we do when we're putting a track together is start with the beat. Then we add something from a record like this. Having got that into our sampler, we play it. Back in the day, you would chop a bar into four cuts from these um, sounds from the wax. And I get these sounds and just splice it in and create new permutations out of existing sounds. Everything changed about the art of beat making and production. The rise of YouTube just gave kids all the access to all the most obscure and hidden records and breaks that most producers would look for. A lazy producer would just take eight bars, put drums underneath, put a rapper on top, and claim it as his own. You can take from random sources, not just one, and create a whole new palette for yourself. The style, the intricacy, the complexity, all of that lets you know that this is, this is the realness.